Ambrose. Mute, Mute. We have number one. We have number one. Uh, a piece of land which is 2,000 acres belonging to Edelman University, just behind the Joro ASP, which has been taken by some individuals. And I can name some individual here. This land has been taken by former interior cabinet secretary. It has been taken by Oscar Sidi. It has been taken by Mithik, uh, not Mithik Aliduri, Justice Mujuri, former speaker. And it has been taken by one, uh, this senator for now. This is South Africa and you know, South in Africa. And another land is War Memorial Land. And for those who are not aware about the War Memorial, war memorial land, 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 the War Memorial Land Eco State House Nakuru, and it has mm -hmm. been taken over by people. And now, as we are speaking, there is an erection of an hotel and a supermarket inside there. This is a public land. Number three, we have a land in a place called Naishi in Njoro sub county, which has been taken by a individual which is called Olenasieku. And number four, we have a land in Kiptaki extension that is the border of Narok and the border of Nakuru County and the border of Kedijo, which has been taken by an individual called Gideon Moi uh, with a pretense of having an activity called Moi Tissot. Number four, we have ADC farm in Kuresoy North, which has been taken by individual. We have another land which it, it, uh, it belongs to Uhuru Kenyatta and former Taitoti. That is just behind Sekuton in Kuresoy South. And finally, we have another land in a place called uh, Lengetia, that is in Narok. That is bordering Olengurwani and Nakuru County, which is around 3,000 acres which has been taken. So can you tell me what happened with this? And also maybe maybe in Rongai, in Rongai, there is a piece of land which is 200 acres, which has been taken by the president himself, William Ruto, has been assisted by Nelson Korir, who is also, uh, he has been allocated 20 acres in that piece of land in Rongai. So, don't fool us here. Just tell us why the government is not stopping land theft and corruption. And maybe if, if, you, if you want to be aware, we have another land in Nakuru flyover here, which belongs to uh, Akteja, which belongs to Akteja, Right now, as we are speaking, somebody is fencing there. And if you want photos, I will share with you even videos. So can you tell us what is the government doing to stop this kind of theft? We have a list of over 175 people in Akuru County who have filled the public land. Can you tell me what the government is doing to stop this kind of nonsense or, or, or taking land that belongs to public utility? Ah, to answer your question, from Maswali, or the Utaku Nitisha Mike. Very nice. As a Kumamaliza Kasika, is there LG? Asante Sana Ambrose. I want to answer you very. Uh, in a very professional and sober way. To be honest, my friend, one, number one, what I know, because I might even be a president in future, so I don't know whether you'll deny me as your president, but I'm speaking as a Kenyan now and uh, with concern. One, the public land, public land, no one at all has a right to occupy, unless members of the public are given that land to occupy, because members of the public are the sovereign authority in this country. Number two, anyone has a right to buy a land anywhere. And I want to say this, guys, in a very sober way. And uh, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Ambrose, uh, First of all, I want to really applaud you on the concerns you are raising in a very eloquent manner, which I can tell you I'm not demystifying. You see, I really appreciate what you are saying. I'm noting down what you are saying. It's not only me noting down. I know this thing is being recorded. I know some other people are also listening. It depends with their concern. But me, I'm talking 
as a Kenyan who is concerned with what is going on, all right? And I want to say this. On this matter of land, bro, where I sit, I can tell you, I don't know. I can be very honest with you. I don't know. And if in case it's happening, first of all, I have a right to find, me, me personally, I have a right to go and find out that indeed this land are, is being alleged here. Is it a public land? Yes. If it is a public land, what needs to be done? You see, whatever needs to be done, guys, I can tell you, no one can grab a public land. And in case anyone is sitting in a public land, if it is not the current regime, will not be able to flush out these things. I'm telling you, with the time, all these things will be happening. But what I'm, I'm, I'm really, really concerned with, bro, even if you ask me about the land, sometimes you, it's like you are, you are doing injustice to me. Anyone, you might have a brother who is working with the DCI, you might have a brother who is working with the police, you might have a brother who is working anywhere, county government, national government. My friend, it's not that every now and then every officer in government should know what is happening. But I want to tell you guys here, as you listen here, that whatever is happening, whatever you know, the time and the processes of, uh, of exploring this process, it's very, very quite dynamic. And I really appreciate what you are saying. Kenyans are listening, they are concerned. But what I can say, bro, whatever you are asking, why is this, why is this? The only answer I can give you that no one has a right to grab a public land. I think, and if it's indeed, you can see recently, uh, uh, recently you can see there have been a demolition across the country, guys. There have been serious demolition. There have been outcry outside there. The government is, is reclaiming their land. I know what you are saying, that this is happening, this is happening. This concern, there are some processes and channels that can be used to ensure that things are transmitted. And this concern, and let me tell you guys here, you see most of this concern we have. This concern, they are there. But I can tell you that some of our people, some of the government officials under the president, who are given the mandate to undertake a certain role. They couldn't do much. Instead, they also have their own interests. That's why you can see most of these cabinet secretaries. So, Mr. Ambrose, I'm really requesting, understand me. Don't, let us just talk. I've noted down what you are saying, and I have a capacity as a Kenyan to go and find out, indeed, are this public land, and these are the concerns, because there are so many processes you are able to relay uh, such a concern. So I'm really asking you, sir, because I know you are to make this with you further. You are not you your bosses. You are not all your yeah. bosses. So, so to me, call them. Yes, yes, yes. And people are really joining here. Let, let us just talk. People are really joining here. Call them. I have watch your mic. That's an one on one in your round table. Yes. Yes. I want yes. to talk to you. Yes, bro.